This is the morning weather extreme video for Wednesday, the 29th of August. I'm James Spann. A lot to talk about this morning. Anytime we have a hurricane on the Gulf Coast, especially uh, just to the south of here as we do this morning, let's go in there and look at some of the sky cam shots. These were captured before the sun came up as I was doing this video update about uh, 5 o'clock. That's our Gulf Shore sky cam. Uh, overnight, the winds have consistently gusted to 50 to 55 miles per hour with those squalls there just driving rain. That's our sky cam up at Daphne. That's on the eastern shore of Mobile Bay. And uh, it looks like they've got a break in the rain there, but it's pouring at the Mobile sky cam. Uh, but so far, so good for the Alabama Gulf Coast. But the big issue down there will be flooding uh, today as Isaac is just creeping along. Uh, there's a look at the infrared satellite image of this thing. It, it's really made two landfalls uh, overnight. It came in about 4 o'clock yesterday near the mouth of the Mississippi. It wobbled uh, west back over water. Then it came back in around Grand Isle, Louisiana, late last night. And again, everybody on the east side of that thing, they are just being hammered this morning with driving uh, rain and wind. Uh, there's the uh, the uh, radar presentation of Isaac, uh, seen nicely from the New Orleans radar. Uh, note a number of uh, flash flood warnings in effect for parishes in southeast Louisiana and counties in south Mississippi. And on top of that, we've seen a number of tornado warnings as well for uh, some of the counties, especially in south Mississippi. That's the ruck analysis. One thing that's happened overnight, the rain has drawn in toward the center, which sometimes happens uh, uh, nocturnally. And up this way, it has been quiet overnight uh, with no rain bands, no tropical showers, but we'll begin to see showers developing during the course of the day today. The track has been adjusted a little to the west on the inland run here, and that is great news for us. That reduces a lot of things. It reduces any flooding problems. With The chance was small anyway, and it reduces the tornado threat for our state. Now, Mississippi, uh, it's a different story in Arkansas and Louisiana, but you can see it curves up uh, through Texarkana, and then Springfield, and then over to Indianapolis uh, late in the weekend. But still, we're going to stay in a very muggy air mass for the next five to seven days with that track. Uh, the rain numbers have come down tremendously with the westward adjustment here. You can see uh, Birmingham, it's, it's spitting out 1.33 inches here. Uh, and uh, this is valid through Saturday morning at 7 o'clock local time. The big numbers on the Alabama Gulf Coast, uh, of course, Louisiana, Mississippi, the, up to Arkansas and Missouri. And understand that rain for Arkansas and Missouri is a big benefit. They really need that. All right, there's a tornado watch this morning. That is going to expire probably by the time you watch this at 7, and a new watch should be issued to replace it. They've been under a tornado watch now for about 12 hours down there. All right, the risks, this is the uh, risk for today, a slight risk over... Uh, much of uh, South and East Louisiana and South Mississippi, not Alabama. And then tomorrow, same thing, Alabama not in a risk, which is great news. We can reduce the chance of tornadoes and just drop it from the forecast. The risk, again, is over most of Louisiana, Southwest Mississippi, and Southern Arkansas. And on day three, which is Friday, if there is a tornado issue, more than likely it's going to be Arkansas with that westward trajectory. So, uh, the news for Alabama continues to improve, at least on this end of the state. Now, let's not forget other things are happening uh, since we uh, spoke yesterday here. We have a new tropical storm in the Atlantic called Kirk and another wave to watch. That wave is a lower latitude wave. NHC guys have, have that as a 40% chance of becoming a tropical depression or storm. Uh, Kirk is no issue, uh, no threat to land, even Bermuda and the Azores, uh, no problem. That'll be recurving harmlessly into the Atlantic, uh, should reach hurricane status, but no threat to the United States. We'll check the GFS. This is the OZ run, valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon. We'll start, as we always do, at 500 millibars, and you can see the high-amplitude flow well to the north of here, uh, troughing over the northeast. It will ultimately pull Isaac northeast inland, but it's just kind of sitting down there this morning on the Louisiana coast. All right, let's t uh, th by, and again, this is valid at 1 o'clock today, and let's jump 24 hours, 1 o'clock tomorrow. It's really not moving a lot in 24 hours. It's uh, below Shreveport, and again, tremendous rains for Mississippi and Louisiana. Alabama, yes, I think we do get a lot of rain tomorrow, but not flooding-type rains. And again, more than likely, the tornado threat will be west of here. Uh, Friday, the remnant circulation near Tulsa, Oklahoma. 
Uh, still, we're going to be very showery on Friday, very humid, uh, passing tropical showers. You're likely not going to rain all day. And then Saturday, as we start the weekend, uh, pick out your spot, your destination, uh, the Gulf Coast states. I will say a mixture of clouds and sunshine. There will be scattered showers and storms around. Uh, highs, upper 80s. Uh, for the football games, uh, if you're going to uh, Dallas for the Alabama game, they should be dry uh, for that. And then Atlanta, of course, that game's inside. But uh, there will be showers around in Atlanta, but not a total washout. And, uh, again, the heaviest rain from Isaac by then will be up toward Indianapolis and uh, central Illinois, south of Chicago. And that's going to be the deal for the weekend. Very soupy air mass. There's Sunday. Uh, and again, for the Gulf Coast down there, uh, yeah, you'll have a shower or two, but I think you'll see a fairly decent amount of sunshine this weekend. And Monday, Labor Day, kind of muggy, scattered showers and storms, highs upper 80s. Go to a Tuesday of next week, same thing. Wednesday, uh, drier air tries to creep in, but that remains to be seen. We'll check the end of the forecast. This is September 14th. Westerly is a little farther south, and that looks like we'll be in a dry air mass if that happens to be correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News tonight at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.